everybody. Welcome to this week's video. Have you noticed that e.l.f. is flying off the shelf? Y'all, it's like becoming a cult favorite out there for good reason. I mean, it's I've featured e.l.f. products before in drugstore tutorials that I've done. Quality is fantastic, price point even better. And now they've launched this whole kind of halo glow thing that everybody's raving about. So I've decided to do one of two things. A, partake in the whole halo glow phenomenon, but also use some other e.l.f. products that I have that have worked for me. So I'm gonna split my face in two, and I'm going to do this side, the halo glow side, and this side, the camo CC side, which is a little bit more full coverage, a little bit more matte, and we're gonna see how the two compare, and then you get to decide which route you wanna go. I know the younger generation is really, really raving about this Halo Glow line by e.l.f., and it's very dewy, glowy, J.Lo Glow. It's, you know, fun for summer, beachy, outdoorsy, um, but we'll see if it's a little too greasy and sparkly for we ladies over, you know, a certain age. Um, everything I'm going to use is by e.l.f., and that's going to start with their moisturizer, which has um, oat milk, ceramides, and niacinamide, dermatologist developed, and a great place to start. So, it's a lightweight moisturizer, absorbs very quickly. Don't forget the neck. All right, I have a primer by e.l.f. What did I do with it? Oh, <laughs> duh. It's just hanging out way over left field here. Um, it is poreless putty primer, comes in a container like so. And you can just basically take your fingers and blend it in. Um, you can do your whole face. You can just concentrate where you've got enlarged pores. Um, but when you reach a certain age, that kind of happens to be everywhere. So I like a good primer. I think it makes foundation grip really well and stay put and this kind of mattifies, helps to cut any kind of shine that you might have. Okay, so the biggest difference that you will notice is between the two foundations. On the right, on your left. Okay, really, on the right, um, is, where did it go? All right, never mind. On the, on the left. <laughs> I am so unorganized, what happened? I think I've just moved all my stuff around. Um, anyway, okay, this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow. This is the one that everybody's going gaga over. It's got this really cool little wand. So looky there, you can just apply it using the wand. Very dewy and glowy for sure. Seems to have a little bit of an iridescence to it. Hence the glow. Kind of digging the wand action. You know, it's it's nice to have your own built-in applicator here. And I will list, by the way, every product used, every color in the description below. You know to click more underneath the description so that it expands. And then there will be links if you're interested in shopping straight from the description, or you can just jot down some notes for yourself to take to the store. Yeah, this is this kind of reminds me of the whole uh, J Lo glow thing. Okay, don't forget to go down to. We don't want a, a glowy face, but not a glowy neck. And you could always use a sponge. I've got Elf sponges as well, just for extra extra blending and things like that. But the little wand, um, the little magic wand, did kind of a nice job. I have lost my CC cream found it, it's hiding on the floor. Not a good place for a foundation. This one I will apply with the sponge. You will immediately see that the coverage is heavier. I think color-wise, they're almost the same. So I kind of lucked out in that department. Yeah, and what's nice about this is that Unlike a lot of CC creams, they can be a little bit oily. This one does dry to a matte finish and has impeccable coverage. I'm telling you, it's, it's why e.l.f. 
gets the reviews that it does because it's such a quality product. You're going to be able to immediately see way more coverage with the CC cream, way more glowy and dewy with the Halo Glow, hence the name Halo Glow. Next is I'm going to use their camo concealer. I actually have two colors um, because I ordered online and it was hard to tell. This was a little too light, this was a little too dark. I'll be blending. I have all of their brushes. So I've got, this is their eye brush kit for a smoky eye. And this is their brush kit for a flawless face. And it's got a little concealer brush in it. So I'm gonna take it out and show you. Voila. And the concealer brush is that one. So I'm going to take the lighter shade of the e.l.f. Camo Concealer and I'm actually going to use it as an eyelid primer because I do not have an e.l.f. eyelid primer. And luckily this shade is light enough to serve as one. And a little goes a long way, spreads well, and it does actually um, dry pretty well. So you really won't need to set this with a powder unless you get super, super greasy on your eyelids and you find that eyeshadow and makeup tends to slide, then you may want to set it with a little bit of powder. The e.l.f. Camo Concealer has also gotten rave reviews just for its coverage. And it really is, um, it's something else for the price point, I'll tell you that. I will set with a little bit of powder on this side. I've got a light, um, powder by e.l.f. I don't know why I keep saying by e.l.f. It's all by e.l.f., you silly girl. Halo Glow Setting Powder. Um, so, and I'm sorry if my voice is still a little hoarse. I'm, I'm still recovering. So in the little smoky eye palette here. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I had a cold. I kid you not, for 10, 12 days. It wouldn't go away just wouldn't go away. Out of all these brushes, I think this one would be good for setting the lid. It's a light colored powder. I'll do this side setting with powder, this side not. Just so again, we can compare the difference. Okay, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> you know how much I love NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen, but I'm, I'm all in on this line. So I'm using their brow pencil. It's Instant Lift Brow Pencil in a uh, brown color. It's very, very different from Lift and Snatch in that it's um, not very pointy. It's round. It, it goes on more of like a shadow in a way. So it's a softer look, not so etched. Okay. So I'm going to come in. It's a, um, it's definitely a good match for my brow color, hair color, it's very natural looking. So if soft and natural is your game, then I think you'll like this. Always remember to come up just a tiny bit higher here on the outer corner for a little bit of a lift. It just kind of creates the illusion of an arched higher brow, just subtly. And this Pencil also has a spoolie if you just, you know, need to soften or comb up your brows or or whatever, but just letting you know that it has that. All right, um, the eyeshadow for both sides will be exactly the same, and it is this little palette. I really like the colors a lot. Um, Bite Size Eyeshadow Truffles. Who doesn't love a truffle? Would you look at those colors, nice and chocolatey. Mmm, this first one's kind of like caramel. It's got my name written all over it. Back in with these shadow brushes. This is the C-Curve brush. Bang! Out we go. And I'm going to use this for lid and up into the crease using this kind of caramel color. Highly pigmented eyeshadow. Goes on well. You don't have to... Um, Keep dipping the brush to get more color on. You know, it, it's it's good stuff. Okay, 
I like the look of that. All right, so now I am going to go in with the darker brown. I'm gonna grab a brush from the other set. Similar in shape. I really, really needed a small, kind of a mid-range size brush, but I, I didn't find it. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the darker brown and I'm gonna just hit this brush at an angle because I'm really just sort of hitting this outer third in the dark brown. Okay, I have an angled small brush now for the black shadow that I will hug along the upper lash line and just sort of flick out to create just a soft little uplift at the end. I love these colors. How great, just a tiny little quad and you get such a great look. That is so nice. There is this really funky little iridescent and I've got another from this kit, small brush. And I'm gonna use this for inner corner of the eye, just as a highlight on both sides. Very subtle, not overly sparkly, which is good. And because I did the concealer and used that as a um, eyelid primer, it already gave me enough brow bone highlight there. So I really don't need to do anything. I mean, maybe just take a whisking brush and just soften any edges. But otherwise, I think the overall eye look is complete. So moving on to their eyeliner, it is um, a nice coal, no budge, retractable eyeliner in black. And I'm gonna tight line with this. We all know what that is by now. So we're gonna hug right underneath. And just do the top line. Really add some definition to the upper lash line. Brings lift, height, all that good stuff. Okay, I'm going to leave the bottom alone uh, because I'm gonna go for a little bit deeper of a lip color. So I want the eyes to be very subtle and simple. Focus is going to be on the lips, but we're moving on to mascara. Big mood in purple. Do you remember those mood rings that we used to wear? Wasn't purple a good mood? I thought it was. Anyway, big mood for big, big lashes. Um, I did not have a e.l.f. eyelash curler and I was not gonna deviate and bring in another line. So we're just gonna go without an eyelash curler today, but if you have one by e.l.f., go ahead and bring it in. Great mascara, thickens, lengthens. I mean, you could actually get away if you wanted with one coat with this stuff. That's pretty impressive. But you know I'm gonna do too. Okay, eyes are done. You can really see the difference in that foundation, can't you? Every time I turn my face, I'm like, whoa, shiny, whoa, matte. <laughs> whoa. Okay, um, so here comes the next kind of buzzy thing that's out there. These little suckers. These are the Halo Glow Highlighter, Contour, and Blush. And so, kind of like the foundation, how it had that stick, these have their own little applicator and you just kind of squeeze and then looky there, you get your contour. ahead and use a little sponge for full blending and then the pointy side for the contour because I don't want that to get too wide and it blends in very easily and then the hairline okay on the matte side elf powder contour and highlight lucky there I'm gonna bring out the brush 
and I'll use the darkest contour shade, which kind of matches the other one. A little bit deeper in tone. If you want to slim a neck, remember, put the contour down the, the sides and you can highlight right here in the middle. Back to the halo glow side. They've got blush. Again, I'll have the name written out in the description for you. Same concept, you just kind of squeeze the applicator and put it right where you put your blush. So in this case, I ride high with blush. I think it gives a lifted effect. And it's definitely got um, an iridescent, kind of peachy, goldy glow to it. On the matte side, look at that. Four choices. My goodness. So many shades. How does one pick? Um, wow. You know, I think the closest color is going to be, it's a toss-up between between those two. I'm trying to think, maybe this one's the lightest. I'm gonna try that, see how it works. It's a little bit pinker than the other one. So I'm gonna hit kind of the orange above, see if I can neutralize that a little. Yeah, the powder definitely has more pigmentation for sure than the um, iridescence. So that did not take much at all. Okay, then there's the Halo Glow Highlighter, which as you know with highlighter, you just kind of run it right above to give the cheekbone a pop, right there. You can run it right above the um, eyebrow for a little eyebrow highlight. Down the middle of the nose, I've got to stick to this side of the nose, a little bit on the tip. You can highlight right here on the uh, upper lip and on the chin. Crazy imaginary line going on on my face right now. Okay, and then this contour and highlight palette had its own highlight. So I'm gonna go in and use this lightest shade. Same places. Okay, everything's done, time to conceal. So I showed you the lighter color that I used for the lid. I also have this kind of peachy color that's a little bit too dark. So I'm right in between. I'm just going to blend the two. So I'm gonna do a dot of the light, dot of the light, and then a dot of the peach, dot of the peach, and then the excess will just be used to blend out. So. You basically do concealer on the inner corner and then just start pulling down. Focal point being right here and then the remnants, a very light application then goes out here. But we're really trying to avoid a heavy uh, application of concealer here where we get our lines. So we want that to be as minimal as possible. Great coverage, can you tell? I hope you can tell. I'm telling you, coverage is amazing. Okay, same on this side. I mean, if you wanna use a concealer for um, an eyelid primer, then you may need to get two different shades as well because it'll be too light for the under eye. You don't want to have that kind of raccoon look. You want it to blend in as close as it can. You know, it'll be like two shades above your foundation tone. All right, so we're gonna set that with the Halo Glow Setting Powder in light on both sides. Okay. Push it in, starting with the heaviest concentration right here on the inner corner, and then the rest just kind of tap out. Um, the big powder brush right here, I have for um, the same product, but instead of light, it's in medium. So I'm just gonna do a very light dusting. I put some in the cap. 
just a light dusting of powder. I almost wonder if I should even powder the side or if we want to keep it, you know, super glowy. But this is all part of the Halo Glow line, so let's just go ahead and put some powder on it. It's still glowing. I mean, I can definitely still see the glow through it. It just helped kick um, some of that, I guess, excess shine out. But we're going to see how it wears throughout the day. So let's move on to the lips. Great lip pencil. I swear it is so close to Nick's new truffle. I can't even stand myself. Just go ahead and draw your border. What's cool is that you can also kind of fill in your lip with it. If you drop below, smudge, create a nice little shadow border. Creates almost like a, a lip flip effect. You get that real pouty lower lip. So the lipstick that I'm using is a total departure from what I usually do. It's in the pink family and it's more of a lip stain than a lipstick. Um, comes with a wand. And I went light on the eyes for a reason. Because this is very summery. It's a long wear. I'm a bright fun color you know I always I'm a creature of habit I always get into those kind of peachy nudes and I'm like no no you're breaking out of the box today even though it's a stain it's conditioning non-drying has a little bit of a sheen to it but not super glossy so it's like one of those products where it's one and done you don't need to add anything have a couple of layers that's it so okay this is the CC cream you know camo concealer side this is the halo glow side as you can see it's very glowy and different so we're going to give it the rest of the day it's about three o'clock in the afternoon i'm going to keep this on till 10 o'clock at night before i wash it off and get ready for bed we'll check in and see how the makeup wore throughout the day all right 10 o'clock time to wash it off but before we do let's assess the difference between the halo glow and the elf camo cc cream Clearly for me, the first thing that's noticeable, the CC side had much more of a full coverage, a matte type of a look. It held up better throughout the day. The Halo Glow definitely was glowing. I did notice some separation starting to take place right here underneath my lower lip, a little bit in the cheek area, a lot of shine that was settling in. I did not touch up with powder throughout the day, so this was it. Um, the lip. The lip, the stain held up really well, especially around the border. It faded a bit on the inside and I touched up once with that. Eye makeup, as you can see, held up really well along with the concealer. So really my assessment is this. If I've got maybe a pool party or something where I'm very casual and I don't need a lot of coverage, I might go for this. This is perfect for a summer type event. But if I'm gonna be indoors anywhere where I am dressed a little bit nicer, this to me is definitely the way to go. So you really pick and choose based on your needs. If you've got super dry skin, this would be great for you. If you've got maybe normal or combo skin, then the CC cream is great. So it just depends, but, but this is more my preference. Um, comments, thoughts, ideas, suggestions below in the comment section. Of course, I'm on social media every day, practically Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Um, yeah, and have you heard? There's a podcast, Over 50 and Flourishing. I most certainly hope that you have subscribed and you're following me wherever you get your podcast. Uh, rate, review, love having you. So glad to have all of these different avenues um, and outlets to be able to share with you and to receive your ideas as well. Go out, be bold, and be blessed this week. Enjoy your elf, and I'll see you next time.